Even as these pictures were being filmed, the flight of the balloon was already doomed. A fire had started. From this distance, it takes a while for the smoke to become apparent. Eyewitnesses say a few passengers and the pilot had apparently jumped already. These pictures were filmed by holidaymakers on a following balloon. They were taken as the balloon had regained altitude. Within seconds, the fire ignited the main gas tank and engulfed the fabric of the balloon. It plummeted to the ground. 21 were on board. Only two survived. The Egyptian pilot is badly burned. The other survivor, Michael Rennie, lost his wife, Yvonne. He's now in Cairo at a private hospital. Amongst his visitors, the Egyptian health minister. He's, he's, now he's good. I think he, uh, of course, he's too much sad for his wife. But his, his general condition of um, his, uh, I think, is lucky, and we are lucky also that he is good, and uh, I think he he will stay for in the hostel for a couple of days, and he will be discharged. And um, can I just ask you what kind of injuries has he actually got? Do you know he any has some uh, some um, um, scratches, and uh, he has no fractures, both uh, uh, concussions, but he is uh, generally he's good. Doctors here saying that considering what Michael Rennie has been through, he has remarkably light injuries, mainly uh, trauma to his body, cuts and bruises uh, to his hands. They're very worried about his psychological trauma condition. They say he's suffering terribly from shock. That said, it's likely he will be discharged after another round of medical examinations. The investigation into the accident has huge ramifications for Egypt. Its tourism industry is already at rock bottom. This crash comes after a number of previous incidents. Right now, the focus for the families and the countries involved is to repatriate their dead. This is one of the worst balloon accidents ever. Trying to find answers and making sure it can't happen again will be a major challenge. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Egypt.